In this video, we'll be going over the memorization approach of palindrome partitioning. Let's go over the thought process. So in the recursive approach, the solution is not efficient enough due to overlapping recursive calls. We can not avoid overlapping recursive calls using memorization. Now, what do we need to cache? In each of the recursive call, we are trying to find the palindrome partitionings and in the previous case, or the palindrome partitions, which we call results at each of the starting index i. This means we can cache i with results. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're still going to validate the input parameter. If the input string is empty, we can just return an empty list because we have failed to find any palindrome partitions. Now we're going to create a list, Nemo, to cache all of the, or we're going to create an array, Nemo, to cache all of the previously calculated results, the indices represent i, and the values represent the results or the palindrome partitions. Now we're going to implement our top-down memorization approach. The parameters we need is the current starting index initially is still going to be zero and our input string and also our memo is our cache. Then in each of the recursive call and then we have, we have a base case now. Now what is the base case? Well, if, the, if memo i is not equal to null. This means we have already calculated the results for the current start index, so we can just return the results. Then each of the recursive call, we're going to create a list results to hold the, all the palindrome partitions. If i is out of bound, this means there's no more pal um, palindrome partitions to be found, so we can just add an empty list to our results, and then we can just return the result. And then we're going to create a string builder um, to keep track of the current substring, we're going to iterate through the indices from i to the end of the string, which, which we're going to denote it as j, and we're going to append the current character at j into the current string, or the current string builder, and then with the current substring from indices i to j is a palindrome, we're going to recursively find the partitions starting from index j plus 1, and then we're going to iterate through all the, all the partitions, and then append our current, or prepend our current string into partition, and then we're going to add the current partition, the newly, gen the newly generated partition into our results. And then before we return results, we want to cache it. So we're going to put results at memo i, then we can return results. Now let's go over the code. So we still validate our input parameter, and then we're going to create a list. Create a list to keep track of previously calculated results or new list. Then uh, we're going to implement our top-down memorization approach, also keeping passing, passing in our memo. And then the base case is if memo i is not equal to null, then we have already calculated the results for the current starting index, so we can just return memo i. Now we're going to create a list results to keep track of all the palindrome partitions. If i is out of bound, this means we have failed to find a partition or palindrome partition, so we can just add an empty list to our result, and then we can just return the results. We're going to create a string builder to keep track of the current characters, and then we're going to iterate through all the indices from i to j, and then append the current character into our string. Now if our, if our current substring from i to j is a palindrome using this method here, we're going to recursively find the palindrome partitions starting from j plus 1, and then we're going to iterate through all of the partitions, and then we're going to prepend the current string into each of the partitions that we have found, and we're going to add each of the partition into our resulting list. And then before we return our results, we want to cache it, and then we're going to return results. Don't forget to pass in our memo into our other recursive calls. new list of lists.
Oh, wait, let's move it down here because in this case we have checked for eyes out of bound or not. Or actually, we just we just add a plus one here. We can just add plus one. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below.